Howdy folks, what you're looking at right now is Ray Morels. What I'm doing is I'm dehydrating them. Got a regular dehydrator here, just clean it up from dehydrating uh, for making deer jerky. Um, so I diced these Ray Morels up after I soaked them in salt water for two days. I used Himalayan pink salt with iodide. And I diced them up, I put a layer on, grab another layer. You want to space them out so the air can flow through here. Now throw another layer on. I'm only going to have three layers on this, but this is how big gray morels can get. Just to show you the size, this is probably one of the biggest grays I found. There's a full size big lighter, so got about a little over two lighters lengths and almost a lighter wide. But, uh, yeah, what I'll do is when I turn this on, I'll turn it on eight, probably, I'll probably go 12 hours on these at about 120 degrees. And uh, that's what it'll be. So, yeah, this one's had its time out there. It's probably growing for a few days. But as you say, I uh, dehydrated it. So, or not dehydrated it, but soak it in salt water. That way, make sure there are no bugs in it. You don't want any bugs. I've actually seen a frog come out of one, so you never know. But I'm dehydrating gray morels right now, which gray is my favorite. A lot of people say black's your favorite, but gray is my favorite. And then once I'm done with those, I got more, as you see. Those are whites. I got some blacks mixed with grays and whites in that other bag. But, uh, then by the time all this is done, we ought to get a rain and I ought to go back out there and do it again. So, uh, just showing you all how to do this. Might as well put this last layer on just to hold it in. And another thing you want to do, all the spores that collect in your catch tray down there that are dehydrated, and all these the little spores, put them back in your water. You take that back and dump it out where your morels grew. And these spores, every single one, may not be this year. It might be five, ten years from now. They'll get the right temperature and pop. And the next thing you know, you got another mushroom. So it's every time. My bags, I collect the spores in my bags. And I let them dry out. I go back there, shake them out, get them wet, shake them out. Same thing what's on my plate. On my catch tray, in my bag, more mushrooms. So it's very important to collect your spores. I'm going to go ahead and plug this baby in, get her started. Oops. Burning down the house. Ugh. Like I said, I'll do 12 hours. at 120 bam Oop, i wasn't even pointing at it 12 hours at 120 degrees voila i'll show you all the end result later but definitely make sure you save your spores here save your spores in your catch tray that should be at the bottom of your pan and save your spores in your bag take that to an area that morels grow or where you got them from release them you'll have more morels thank you for tuning in and I'll see you all next time.